All right. Hello, everybody. We're just waiting for one more, and there we go. Zendikar. Uh, Sphinx of Dwar Isle is a terrible card in this format. <laughs> Cannot even tell you. The best card in the pack is Disfigure. Followed by, like, Welkin Turn. Just Sphinx of Dwar Isle seems good. And, like, if I was LSV, I would take it. And there's a huge delay in the chat, too. Uh, Needle Bite Trap, no. No. Also, there's Zendikar lands. Those are, you should keep in mind, are worth money. Uh, the Recluse is okay, but green was sort of a niche archetype. This one's okay. Scholar's terrible. Marauder's okay. Mold Shambler's not great. Why is Sphinx bad? <laughs> Because it's a because it costs six mana. I think the average game in this format stops on like turn four or five. For me, the picks between um Welk and Turn and Disfigure, and I'm just gonna take the Disfigure. I remember when people thought Devout Lightcaster would be a good card. Uh here there's a giant scorpion. Um, passing another Highland Berserker. Uh, we should note that we're passing a Savage Silhouette, which is a troll hide for those new players who haven't been here. And there's also an Adventuring Gear and a Blazing Torch. Blazing Torch is also good in this format, too. Um, yeah, so we're passing, like, another red thing here. Warpaint's not bad either, but I think it's definitely Giant Scorpion. It's, uh, it's a really good card in this format. Lying ally. Ooh, living tsunami? Ooh, what is going on here? So there's a blade tusk boar, which is good, because it has intimidate. Um, Cliff Treader was okay. Living tsunami is a 4-4 four, four flyer for four. That just, uh, but there's also a journey to nowhere. I don't think black white was I don't remember if black white was good. I think I have to take the living tsunami. Tap target creature without flying. Oh, I don't want to be a control deck. Oh, I should have taken the uh Journey to Nowhere. Damn. Because Core Aeronaut is an amazing guard. Just kick target creature again. Tap target creature without flying. I'm just going to take the Core Aeronaut. Uh, Archers is the... Yeah. Spire Barrage is slow. There's another Goblin... Sh There's a Goblin Shortcut, which is great, but I'm just going to take the Sakura Marauders. Uh... What? That should not be here. This is... What? <laughs> this, sh this is a good card, too. Uh, getting to the point where I really want to start taking lands, but I'm going to take that into the Royal. What? As much as I love Heartstab Mosquito, Sakura, Sur Surakar Marauders? I just really like Surakar Marauders. We could have, I think I probably, you know, yeah, I don't know. It's a late Goblin Shortcutter, too. Goblin Shortcutter is really good in this format, but... Uh... Okay. Um... Why is the Highland Berserker still here? Whatever, I'll send good signals. I'll take the Kraken Hatchling. Um... 
yeah, I'm just going to take a land. They're, they're worth a quarter of a ticket or something like that. Or a tenth of a ticket. I don't really... Well, I might. Cause I might... Yeah, let's just show that, actually. I might have to... I might main deck it. Uh, what does Lethargy Trap do? No, I'm going to... I am going to hate this Seismic Shutter. Caller of Gales is terrible. I'm going to take the island. I'm going to take... Yeah. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. This looks pretty good for this format. Uh, hopefully we don't play that red deck. This format's weird if you've never drafted it before. Who's here? I'm going to check. Nobody's here according to this. I'm going to give you... OP? Is that how that works? Yeah. All right, let's open up a fetch land because I'm sure those are worth money. <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like this. Sorry, I have to go check to see what the spoils are. If it wasn't here, I am almost... No, I am positive I would take the hideous end. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't... Oops. But, uh, yeah. There's hideous end in this pack. Teetering Peaks is a very good card. Orin Reef Survivalist. Tuck Chuck Grunts is okay. Uh, the Shepherd of the Lost is okay too, but it costs five. Crypt Ripper is okay. I would definitely have taken the Hideous End though if uh, the Marsh Flats wasn't here. And it's worth something like the entire draft. Core Duelist is not good. Ooh, Inferno Trap. Really wish we could take that. And then there's the green cards, like Territorial Bayloth is good. But I am just going to take another raptor. Uh, ooh, another journey to nowhere. Crocodile's terrible. Oh, I'm probably just taking Lacerator here. Here's a format where this is actually gigantic. You see this in Theros and it's like, this is terrible. There's a Windrider eel and there's a Lacerator. I am not sure which one I should take here. I'm gonna guess since the mar yeah I'm gonna take the eel. Maria Skyruin is that worth anything? I'm a savage rare drafter. And Maria the no. Ugh. There's a torch slinger here. Other D trap is not good. Arrow is good. What's Ravenous Trap? Cards in her hand? No. So I don't really want Spreading Seas, so I am just going to hate... Torch Slinger. Crypt of... Agadium? And sense. All right, Vampire's Bite is okay. It's not great. Spell Pierce isn't very good in this form. What does this do? Black creature in your graveyard. Not very good in this format. Guess I just take the Vampire's Bite. Spell Pierce is not. No, well, maybe Spell Pierce. Ugh. Yeah, I'll take the spell pierce. Okay, here we go. Control two or more vampires. Those aren't vampires. 
destroy target creature, gain four life. Or I could take this, which is a 3-3, three, three, or I could take Whiplash Trap. I think I'm taking the Whiplash Trap. Yeah, I'm going to take the Whiplash Trap. This Tempest Elf. Tap up to three target permanents? No. No. I think it's just Crypt Ripper. Scythe Tiger. Mindless Null is not super great. Neither is Crypt Ripper, though. I already have a spell pierce. Let's just take the Vampire's Bite. I did Teetering Peaks table. But really, I'm just taking the Teetering Peaks. I'm going to run it as a colorless land that does something. I'm going to take the Refuge. Um, I will take the Soaring Sea Cliff. Ravenous Trap is terrible. Still don't want the Spreading Seas. I will take the Swamp. Um, I will take a Bog Tatters for the sideboard. I will take Feast of Blood just in case I get all those vampires. I pass the one, sadly. The Wind Rider Eel. Might have been a mistake. I don't recall actually drafting most of this. I don't remember how much I drafted in this. By the Marsh Flats. Alright. Whatever, we got our Marsh Flats. Alright, what do you got for me? Some Mythic. Lotus, Lotus Cobra. That's probably still worth money. Something good. Good me. That's the opposite of good. <sighs> Alright, so for blue buck, what's this thing? That's a 3-3 Ophidian. It might come back. I'm not taking Alamar Depths. Oh, Searing Blaze. Enclave, it's okay. Urge to feed, minus three, minus three. Makes your vampires bigger. It's definitely minus three, minus three. Need more creatures. Freaking Agiling does not count. Probably should have been red. Oh well. What you gonna do? Wait, Raging Ravine. Is that worth anything still? Yeah, that's worth a couple tickets still. Ooh, Arbor Elf. Otherwise I'm passing a corrupt Zendikon. I think I'm just gonna take the money. It's a Swiss, so... Can't play it though. Now there's Searing Blaze. What's this? No. No, no, no. Yeah, it definitely should have been red. Oh well. Ancient Zendigon. And two hex G. I guess I'll take the winds into gun. Uh, I'll take the corrupt into gun here. Three three haste. Pulse tracker is pretty bad. 
Wait, Tide Force Elemental. Okay, yeah, I definitely, I definitely should have been red, blue. It's not even close. I could have been red, blue allies, and I would have cleaned house here. I just got, I just took this disfigure, and I was like, oh, look what all I can do. Uh, I'm gonna take the calcite snapper, I think. Curve, is, low curve is so important in this format. Um, this could be a pulse tracker deck. I don't want it to be though. I don't have to play the Feast of Blood. We'll take the Quag Vampires. Alamar Depths. That. Oh, my rare came back. Uh, I'm just going to take my rare. I don't want to play against it. I'll take the Corrupt Syndicon. I'll take the Dispel. That's a pretty good card in this format. One mana, counter an instant. The multi-kicker creatures are actually kind of hard to use. Uh, I'll take another Dispel. Just because the matchups they're good in. They're really good. Alright, so all I have to do is win one round and then I made my money back. Nice. But yeah, I definitely, for people watching, I should have been red, blue allies. I'm, I think I would have cleaned those. Uh, I could take a Smoldering Spires. I don't know how many come into play tap lands I want, though. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather just take the... Uh, I'll, I'll take the forest. I'd rather have the... I would rather have the tenth of a ticket than the... Uh, ever. Oh, what? <laughs> that should not happen. You can definitely sell those for a tenth of a ticket if you're patient. I should <laughs> I should get around to doing that. I have something like three thousand of them. Or... Sorta. All right, let's build this deck. Let's do it MJ style because it's one of the few things he does right. Ah, All right, let's take this out. Take those out. No Kraken Hatchling. That a, that's a good sideboard card though. Should have taken that. The 2-2. Two, two. And these are three drops. Enclave Elite. Feast of Blood out. Drop Binder's Trick out. That out. Oh, I don't even have enough playables? What? I'm terrible at this. Yeah, I should I should have just went for the pulse tracker deck or switched into allies. What are you gonna do? These are the lands I'm going to play. Not this one. I'll put that there because it's nice to have. Definitely play the teetering peaks. I'll play the soaring sea cliff too. Just because it's really good to save a soaring sea cliff for a crypt ripper turn. I guess I should have probably taken some of those. Um... Whatever that enchantment is that turns things into islands and cantrips. 
So one of those. I don't want to play Pulse Tracker. Yeah, I'll just run 18 lines. No, that's not. Yeah, no, no, because some of these come into play tab. All right. I think I could have done that better, but it's been a while. It's been a long while, and Zendikar was not really a uh, standard Magic the Gathering format. 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, I think we'll cut an island for a Dwar Isle Refuge, though, and a swamp for a Marsh Flat. That like that. And wait, 19 lands. Oh. Hmm. I don't think I want 19. Worst deck I've ever drafted. That's not true at all. I've drafted worse decks. Oh, I see. Um, there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so I can cut that. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then one, two, three, four, seven, eight, ten. One, yeah. All right, I'll be right back. I got to have a this. 